I think most of you know me. Uh, I'm Coach McCleary. Uh, my information, email, phone number is on there. Uh, so if you don't have it and you need something, there it is. Um, starting out my ninth year, which is crazy. Um, honestly, I never thought I'd be here for five, let alone ten. So, um, but no complaints. Uh, we we love it here, um, and we love being around your kids. Um, otherwise, we why wouldn't still be here? So. Um, new assistant this year, uh, Brad Boothinger, I think most of you know him. Um, he's been around the program uh, for a long period of time. He's probably coached all of your daughters and um, been through eighth grade. So uh, really glad to have him um, along for the ride. Um, and he's done a great job through five days. So um, along with over the summer, with everything he helped with. So uh, that was great and I'm, I'm happy to have him. Uh, first thing I always hit is letter requirements. Um, I know it doesn't seem to be as big of a deal as it used to be, but my first couple of years here, everybody wanted to know, so I usually cover that. Um, it's pretty easy, just uh, if you play in a quarter of the games or a quarter um, of the quarters in a regular season, um, you letter um, on the varsity level. So, you know, usually 20 games regular season, so if you play in 20 quarters, you letter. Um, it's kind of the easiest way uh, to go about it. The other part of it is finishing in good standing. Um, you know, so if you go out and you get in trouble, something like that, then that's one of the things that we, you know, may determine as a penalty. Um, you know, if a kid gets an MIP, um, that's something that has been done in the past, I guess. So um, that's kind of a big thing. If somebody, you know, hopefully not, uh, somebody gets hurt and we think, yeah, they, they definitely would have let her, then We'll based off that as well. Uh, the big thing that I guess I cover in here um, is the grievance procedure because at some point in the year, um, somebody's gonna be unhappy um, and, and that's natural and that's okay. Um, the only thing I, my biggest rule is night of the game, if something you know minor happens and you're upset about playing time or something along that line, I get it, wait till the next day, okay? Uh, the last thing I wanna deal with after a game is an upset parent about playing time. 95% uh, of the time, that's what it is. All right, if it's a much bigger issue than that, by all means, come find me, but um, if it boils down that you're upset that they didn't play enough or somebody else is playing over them, wait till the next day and we can talk about it. All right, and, and typically, um, I guess if, if your daughter's upset about something, have them come talk to me. All right, I know I'm an intimidating guy and they don't wanna disappoint me or whatever, um, but that's usually the easiest way to clear up misconceptions or um, get things figured out is just come talk to me. And if they want to come talk to me with you, then great. Um, the last thing though that I want to do is, you know, have a parent meeting and we're sitting there saying, don't tell Sally about this. All right. Um, if, if we're going to go over something, you know, like I said, with playing time, something like that, then I want them in the room. So if they're upset, they can let me know and, and we have a, you know, two-way conversation about what, what we need to do to fix things. And um, if it's more major than that, then, then we bring in athletic directors um, and up from there. Uh, but frankly, I don't really think we've ever gotten past parent coach. So um, we've had pretty good, pretty good rapport there. Um, the one thing uh, that I really ask um, is, uh, and it's on there in the cap, do not contact um, Brad about an issue on the team. All right, so like I said, if you're, if you're upset about playing time or something along those lines, it goes through me. If it's JV and you're upset, it goes through me. All right, um, that'll solve a lot of problems and you know, hopefully you know, I can keep an assistant longer than two years. So uh, that would be great, all right? So uh, if there's issues, bring it to me uh, because I'm gonna be the one to fix it. Uh, if you take it to Brad, he's gonna bring it to me and then Hey, I'm going to be upset because now it's coming from a third party. You know, and the same thing with you guys. If you hear something about your kid from somebody else, you know, you're not going to be happy because, again, you'd much rather hear from your kid that, that that's going on. So, um, so that's a big thing. Um, if you have questions, like I said, leave time, something like that, weekend stuff. Um, again, my phone number's on there. Shoot me a text. Obviously, you know, I might put, again, ask Sally. She should know, but um, if she doesn't, again, just just shoot me a text and uh, 
I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, again, playing time position, starting, not starting, that's all my decision. Um, so, and frankly, this year, and I'll get to it, there could be multiple starting lineups throughout the year, um, just with where our team is and um, some things that I've been seeing. So, um, that stuff, you know, that's you know, usually my decision at the end of the day. It's not always the right decision, okay? Uh, I made decisions where I go back the next day and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, man, I probably shouldn't have done that. And, you know, and that's the human element of, of sports. And, and that's why you know, usually it's, you know, less about basketball and building life lessons uh, with some of those things. So um, I try and tie it back to that as much as I can. Um, and then the other thing, again, I kind of brought it up. There's been cases where, you know, so-and-so is starting with my daughter. And that's not right. I would say, well, we're not talking about so and so. All right, we're talking about your daughter. So, um, other athletes are non discussion. Um, a quote that I love, and, you know, I t preach this to the girls all the time if they start getting, you know, in the clicks and, um, you know, these three girls against these three girls or whatever. Um, but losers assemble in small groups and complain about other players, coaches, and officials while winners work together as a team to reach a common goal. Um, you know, and, I really believe in that. If we're all on the same page, fighting for what's you know, fighting for a great season and what's right and all that stuff, yeah, everything else is going to work out. Is there going to be disagreements along the way? Sure, but if we're all on the same page of what we're trying to achieve, uh, then a lot of those things are going to take care of themselves. Um, so um, that's kind of there. Um, game day stuff, expectations for you know the girls. Like I always tell them, make sure you're organized. Make sure you have your stuff. Um, I know they rely on you guys for that stuff, so uh, I appreciate that. We've had very few um, issues where somebody forgets a pair of shorts or something like that. I usually carry extras. Uh, frankly, I always do. I always have extra shorts, a jersey, and warm up in, in there just in case that happens. The one thing I don't carry extra of is shoes because uh, I wear a size 15. And even though my daughter's catching up to me, I uh, haven't had a girl need my shoes yet. So. Uh, there's that, and then if you're riding home on the bus, uh, we expect the girls to ride home on the bus. Uh, if you're going on for the weekend, like we'll play in Burwell first weekend, uh, you know, occasionally somebody's going on to Lincoln or Carney or something like that. Fully understand that. Uh, frankly, what's worked pretty good the last couple of years is just shoot me a text, hey, I'm signing so and so off, uh, and we're good to go. Uh, first couple times, if I don't have your number, let me know who you are, uh, just so I know that it's you know, mom or dad and not, you know, somebody else just pulling my leg. Um, and then we get something, you know, like a friend or something like that. Hey, he doesn't ever remember sending a text out here, you know, that I'm riding home with my mom. So, uh, so that's the only thing where I haven't had any problems with that. So that's worked pretty well. Save some pen and paper um, there. Uh, expectations for you guys. Um, if something happens, you know, in practice, rolled ankle, uh, something like that, I'll, do my best to let you know, you know, give me a call at night or shoot you. Um, if I have your number, send you a text, say, she rolled her ankle, should be okay. Um, usually the ankle is the one that I feel pretty good about diagnosing whether or not it's broken or sprained. Um, just so I've been through enough of those. Knees, I stay away from those. All right, so if there's a knee, if somebody tweaks a knee, then I'm probably say, hey, take them in, get an MRI, you know, go that route. The other great thing that we have um, is Caitlin and Brian um, through Rangeland. Uh, they're over here at least once a week and, you know, varsity contests, they're here. So um, we use them, you know, the school pays for it. So if there's an issue, uh, typically I can get a hold of them. And frankly, they're good about just, you know, if you guys want to take them over there, um, if something happens and get them checked out that way, you know, save you a doctor bill, um, you know, especially if it's just something minor. Um, and, you know, if it's something more major, then they'll probably point in the right direction. So um, that's kind of uh, that deal. And if there is something going on, I tell them, let me know. All right. The last thing I want to find out is the next day I'm getting a doctor's note, you know, because they hurt their ankle or something. I had no idea about it. So um, if you're taking them in uh, for an injury or something, please let me know. Um, so I know, you know, what's going on in that um, realm and I know whether to expect them or not. Uh, at practice. So uh, team support um, and supportive officials. Uh, this is one thing I went to a leadership conference with uh, 18 um, Rock County kids uh, yesterday. It was a great experience. Um, uh, they had a lot of compliments for, about it. Um, and the big thing they really talked about was sportsmanship 
and officiating. Um, and we all know, you know, the officials, and I am not the poster child of how to handle officials. I know that. Um, I have concretely thought about it uh, over the summer uh, and stuff like that and how I can be better uh, in those situations. So that is definitely something I brought it up the last three years. Uh, this past year, I got two T's, so something I am not proud of at the end of the day. You know, it's fun, you know, to kind of give jabs on that stuff, and, and I'm a good sport about taking that. But it's not something that I, you know, walk into a game saying, hey, you guys suck, I'm probably getting teed up tonight. That's the last thing on my mind. Um, I'm just there trying to fight for the girls, and, and sometimes I take it too far, for sure. So um, that's one thing, you know, from that I took out of that yesterday. Um, on top of the fact, there are not many officials these days. Um, it has been a struggle. Um, I think we're solid with games, but I know, um, like talking to a couple ADs, they've already had to cancel J High games because they can't get officials in. Um, so, you know, that's something that we want to be supportive of. There are going to be calls that, you know, we all don't agree with, you know, especially me. And like I tell everybody, let me handle it. All right. And again, I know it's not always the best thing because I don't handle it the best sometimes. Um, but again, I'm, that's something that I've definitely been thinking about and uh, preparing myself to handle better. So, um, make sure on that side of things, if there's a bad call, I say clap for our kids. You know, hey, it's all right, Addy, we got the next one, or you know, whoever it is, you know, cheer on your daughter, we got the next one, and we move on. Because, you know, again, this is my favorite, you know, comment that I get reminded of how many times you see an official say, you know what, you're right, that was a bad call, we'll change it, all right, it doesn't happen. So, um, it's easy to use that excuse, the officials, um, you know, lost the game for us, I always say, you know, that we make all our free throws, that we make all our layups, that we make all our shots. No? All right. Did they really lose it for us? Did they affect the game? Absolutely. Okay. Every official will probably, probably not every, but a lot of officials know they affect games. All right. But at the end of the day, the athletes control, you know, what happens on the court. So um, you just got to adjust and go from there. Um, so that's the big thing that I've, I'm trying to go in this year is, um, make sure we're all on the same page of, you know, we're after wins, uh, we're after supporting our kids, um, and we're not gonna let anybody else affect that. The ref's gonna be, you know, not that great on the night, but we're gonna support our kids, all right? And, and if we do that, I think we're gonna have a pretty successful season um, rather than worrying about things that we can't control. So uh, that's kind of been my message, and, and this includes social media, um, you know, We've had a couple cases where the parents gone on throwing a picture of, a, of an official on social media, something we don't want to have happen, all right? Because um, first of all, it sets a bad precedent for us. Uh, officials aren't gonna to want to come here, and then when officials do come here, they're gonna be like, you know what? Screw them, all right? You know, if they're gonna smear our name, we don't care if they lose, all right? So uh, like I say, um, typically when things get negative with officials, it's only gonna hurt us, it's not gonna make things better anymore. So, um, and then if you know of anybody that's not doing a whole lot and you want to recommend them for officiating, <laughs> there's my pitch for the NSAA. So, uh, they've been doing big campaigns trying to get more officials in. So, uh, so that's kind of that. Uh, season expectations, uh, you know, we, I don't know, this is kind of the first year we're going, I guess I'm going into a season in a few years where I'm not really sure where we're at, you know, from a starting line lineup standpoint, where our rotation's gonna be. Um, you know, and that's what I've kind of been talking about with the girls is, you know, we certainly have a good core that did play a lot last year, but, you know, there's one, you know, a starting spot for sure that we don't, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, one day it's one person, the next day it's another, and we're just gonna kind of play it by year. So there's gonna be a day, I know there's gonna be cases where the starting lineup's gonna change and there's going to be times where it might just be based on who we're playing. Uh, you know, if we're playing a team that's a little bigger, you know, we might go with a bigger lineup. If we're playing a team that's a little smaller, maybe we'll go smaller. So, you know, that's something I've been trying to mentally prepare the girls for is, you know, that, you know, chance of one night you might be starting, one night, one night you might not be. And it might not be because you had a bad game. It might just be because we're switching things up, you know, to prepare for the next team. So, um, that being said, I love our athleticism. Um, you know, that was kind of rough out there. Well, you guys got to see a little bit, but uh, we, our girls can run. Uh, they are quick. Uh, we've been getting a ton of shots up. Again, 
We haven't done a lot of the up and down five on five stuff at all this week. Um, but when we're in the half court doing our shooting drills, we look good. Um, so I'm really, really excited about that. I think we're going to create a heck of a lot of matchup problems for teams as we get going. Um, and then obviously we kind of build our, you know, hang our hat on defense and we're really good on that end. And so I'm, I'm really excited for, for that. Um, you know, one thing we usually do every winter, uh, we even got to do it last winter, um, is go on a little team trip, usually on a Saturday. Uh, we'll go find a college game to go to. Um, like last year, I guess we got to play down in Broken Bow, so we kind of did that. This year we're playing down in Columbus. Um, it's just, it's actually a JV varsity game in Columbus against Elmwood Murdoch. Uh, they're a class D1 team that was at state last year. Uh, if you go back and look at their record, it was like 500. But if you look at the teams they lost to, every one of them was C1 teams um, that were pretty much at the state tournament or in the district final. So, um, and they return everybody. So uh, I talked to them over the summer. I uh, got to see them, um, talk to their coach, and their plan is to win D1. And, you know, good for them, whatever. But, uh, you know, we're, we're going to go give, give them our best shot and, you know, show them what North Central basketball is all about. So, um, like I said, we'll do that. Um, I know the Carney coach has been talking to me about trying to get them down for a UNK women's game. Uh, they were a top 10 team last year, so, uh, and with plenty of returners. So, that's one thing I've kind of been looking at. So it's just kind of going to be whether a date lines up or, or not, or whether or not we can get down there. So, uh, yeah, I guess with that, any questions with anything we got going? Uh -huh. Makes it easy. So, uh, like I said, I can't, um, I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, I know I make things hard on you guys as family sometimes with kind of the time requirements that um, I ask the girls to show up for and whatnot. Um, but at the end of the day, I think, you know, they walk out of here with, um, you know, a really good experience and, and good habits and, you know, kind of a good expectation of what they might see in the real world outside of basketball. So, um, like I said, they're great kids and hard workers and I love the heck out of them. So, so yeah, if you ever need anything, give me a shout. Um, I'll do anything I can help out. So, I right. know that. Thanks, Coach. You did. Yeah. Yeah. Really, Coach, was there supposed to be snacks here? <laughs>